Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, lovely people. This is Tony again from Royal Essence Total Body Care. I am in the process of making a couple of uh, bottles of lotion. Uh, it's spring, summertime, not quite summertime, but it feels like it here in Houston. Um, so I regularly make body butter. Um, I love my body butter, my customers love it. It's nourishing to the skin, but because it's getting so warm and humid, the body butter is rather thick. Um, and so for the summertime, what I do is I like to introduce um, a light lotion with still a lot of skin loving ingredients, but it's definitely um, lighter on the skin so it won't feel so heavy and weighed down um, because it has water in it versus the body butter excuse me, versus the body butter, which has absolutely no water in it. Um, just all of the great butters and oils and things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and um, weigh things out. Uh, but before I do, I wanted to just kind of give you a quick run through of what we'll be using today as far as our tools and ingredients go. Um, first off, I want to soak calc or you can go to whole cell supplies plus and they have a batch calculator that you can use this is one of my recipes for uh, the lotion uh, the light shea butter lotion that I use um, first off it, it contains its main ingredient which is water um, I use 70% water I really want a super light lotion um, nothing too heavy so I do use 70% water uh, which I have my distilled water here. Let's see. Can you see? Must use distilled water, people. Don't use the yicky yicky sink water, okay? Because you just never know what's coming through um, from the lid or the pipes, you know, and what have you. I just always go for distilled. So just bring for the extra couple of cents and get your distilled water, especially if you're soaping. Um, you need to use distilled water as well. Um, in addition to the water, we have some shea butter. That's at 10%. <clears throat> I'm going to weigh this out. I just took a chunk off from my stash. Um, then in my recipe, I have down Oregon oil, but I am totally out of Oregon oil. So what I have here, um, which is a very great replacement, it's jojoba oil. Can you see that? which is a wonderful carrier oil. I love this in my products because um, it's the oil that's closest to the oil that our bodies uh, produce on its own, and that's jojoba. That's uh, 2% of jojoba. Then we're gonna use 2% of olive oil, which is here, olive oil, <clears throat> which I got from Costco. It comes in these two big, um, uh, three quart um, jugs or what have you so that's 2% of olive oil uh, we're going to use 9% of e-wax which I have my emulsifying wax here we got this from Brambleberry um, let's see on top of that we're going to use a one ounce of steric acid which is here from Brambleberry as well um, Oh, one additional oil, which is at 2%. Avocado oil. I love this stuff. I love my carrier oils because they're so great in the products, especially with the beard oil that I make. The men absolutely love it. It's very conditioning and moisturizing to your skin and or your hair. And so the men really love it in the beard oil, and it, it just works wonders for your skin. On top of that, I have a preservative that I'll be using um, because there is water in this product, and so we don't want any, you know, micro, micro ickies is what we'll call them. Can you see that? Optifan is what we're going to use, and we're going to use that at a rate of 1% for this batch. And then finally, our handy dandy fragrance oil. I was kind of torn in between kind of a, like a berry, a wild berry, but I just, I'm just going to go with uh, coconut lime verbena, which I got this particular two ounce bottle from Nurture Soap. Um, 
not a lot of colorant will go in here I'm just gonna add just a little dab of this lime appeal mica powder lime appeal mica excuse me powder and I also got this little sample from nurture soap as well y'all don't look at my nails okay I know y'all like what is going on well let me tell you I took my I've been, you know, I, I don't usually wear acrylic nails, but for like the last three to four months, I've worn them faithfully, and I just wanted them off, and I just start snipping them off myself, so these two fingers are the stubborn fingers because I just can't get these two off, or I really haven't tried hard enough, but at any rate, I'll go get a manicure <laughs> one day. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe today or tomorrow. We'll see. I just have so much to do. I'm getting ready for a show. June is going to be full of shows. I have one every weekend in the month of June on top of my other orders. Um, and so, enough of that. Let's go ahead and start weighing out. What we're going to do first is I'm going to take one of my um, containers and make sure you've sterilized and alcohol with 91% alcohol after you sterilized in your bleach water everything I have has been sterilized thoroughly and then on top of the sterilization honey I also spritz with our 91% rubbing alcohol we don't want any yicky yickies in our product so I'm gonna take this let me turn my scale on um, I also have a stick blender here are my bottles forgot to show you and a little thermometer I need to really get one of those heat guns but whatever we'll use this little one so let me tear this out and we're going to start with our I'm going to substitute the Oregon oil for Jojoba. So we're going to use 2% in my recipe. And I'm sorry I can't give you the exact recipe. I did give you the percentages, so it's up to you. Uh, you know what? What the heck? What the fooey? We're going to use this at uh, 0.6. Uh -oh. Come on, tear out. Tear. Okay. 0.6. Come on. Some good old skin loving. You know what? I'm going to use half of the jojoba oil. Sorry, impromptu change. And I'm going to, I just have just a little bit of almond oil. And that's a really great oil to use as well. And I'm just going to put the remainder four in here. Four, five. It's going to be enough. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. I'm trying to get to point six. All right, I think that's all that's gonna give me. I'm gonna just do you wanna? There we are, six. So that's the <clears throat> bad, and then we're gonna add. Um, 0.6 of the olive oil. Try that out. Okay. Went a little over, but it should be fine. Um, E-wax. Try that out. My E-Wax calls for 2.7, and I really need to put these in the containers that they belong in, but whatever. So E-Wax is 2.7, and this is what the E-Wax looks like, just some little fine can you see what I'm doing over here? I don't think you can see. Let's raise you up a little bit and let's zoom in. There we are. So, two point, two point seven. 
the e-wax. Making a mess, of course. Nine. Let's get to one. How about eight is a bit. Three, two point four, two point five. There we are. Okay. Let's wrap this back up. Put it to the side, and now we'll do our steric acid at one percent, which will be. Tear that out. Which will be 0.3. A little bit more. There we are. Close this back up. So I have the Hoba Oregon mix, I have the olive oil, I got the e-wax in there. Oh, almost forgot the avocado oil and that's at 2% which is 0.6 on um, my handy dandy. There we are. Tear that out. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take this. And usually, sometimes I'll put it on a double boiler. Today, I'm just going to use our handy dandy microwave. Just going to put that in on 30 seconds first to see what it'll do. In the meantime, between time, I'm going to tear this out and get another container, which has, of course, been sterilized. Let's see a little. Let me just, uh oh, I'm just gonna wipe it down again really quick with some 91% rubbing alcohol just to be safe. Air dry it. <laughs> Put that on there, tear that out. Just checking on our mixture in the microwave. We're gonna do another 30 seconds. And while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and weigh out our water uh, which is at 70% so that's 21 ounces so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 so that's 1.5 wait let's make sure I can't count <laughs> that is okay just making sure just 15 seconds on that so after we get our water measured I am going to just move the scale to the side because we'll still need it oh actually we need it now because I need to get this shape on it the shea butter is at 10% which is three three ounces. I'm at 1.2 so I'm just going to grab a little bit more. Okay. 
and two ounces, 2.2, hold on guys, so it's, um, it's May 23rd, I don't know when I'll post this video, but, Memorial Day is coming up. So, what are your plans? What are you going to do? Are we barbecuing? Are we going to the pool, to the beach? What's on your agenda? And let me just make sure, you know, to say that Memorial Day is not just about hanging and a day off. And so make sure you understand and can appreciate the reason for Memorial Day. That's good enough. That's 2.9. Um, this is all melted. All of our waxes and oils and it's pretty hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to melt the shea butter. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to mix the shea butter in and let it melt on its own in the hot oils and waxes. And it shouldn't take too long to do that. Yeah, so um, leave a comment and let me know. I don't know when I'll post this video. Hopefully in the next couple of days once I've edited it. Edited it. <laughs> edited it. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, a couple of weekends ago, my mother-in-law, she lives here with us now for about five months. Um, and, and see, it's just melting really nicely. But um, we had a family game night, and what we did, it was called the Battle of Tongue Twisters. And she went, um, at work, she printed out this list of common tongue twisters. And we all together came and selected, I think, five of them. And we had this really big family challenge on who could do these particular five tongue twisters together or the best. And it was so funny. I have some of the video. I might link it to this. But um, when I said uh, I was going to edit the video, and I'm like, once I edited it, that was one of the tongue twisters. It was like, Eddie edited it, and he had to say it three times without messing up. So it was like, Eddie edited it, Eddie edited it, edited it, you know, whatever. But I, I um, my favorite one was um, Sally sold seashells by the seashore. If Sally sold seashells by the seashore, then how many shells did Sally's whatever but anyway it was so fun it was nice the kids enjoyed it but that's what we like to do um we like to go out and have fun but really just chilling at home with the family we're pretty goofy we're always laughing <laughs> and so uh that was pretty cool for us so i just have a couple of chunks of shea butter there what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull this scale right back out and I'm going to take this container I'm going to tear it out and I'm going to go ahead and measure out my preservative and my fragrance oil. Um, the fragrance oil is 4% of the recipe which is 1.2 ounces and I'm hoping I have enough because I made some loofah soap Oh, and it smells so good. Again this is coconut lime verbena from Nurture Soap and it is vegan. So, okay, I am not gonna have enough of this fragrance. Ugh. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to do a quick, quick switch up really quick. Ay, ay, ay. Why did I think I was gonna have enough? What else did I make? Hold on, let me go to my fragrances. And let's see, a strawberry. Cucumber lemon. Uh, Y'all don't do this last minute. Make sure you have enough fragrance oil of whatever you're going to do. Uh, let's see. Tropical vacation. Hmm. We can do a mix of the tropical vacation and the coconut lime. Let's hope that that turns out. And the tropical vacation is from Brambleberry. That's not quite enough at all. So you're seeing me in the testing. <laughs> where I'm testing out fragrances on account of I did not measure beforehand so let me just give that a quick mix mm, it does smell awesome though oh yeah it smells awesome so I need about 0.4 more ounces of fragrance so I'm trying to see what I'll use and then I'll need to remember so I can make sure I label it correctly oh this is juniper let's see 0.7 okay and we don't want to okay so our shea butter is just about melted and I'm glad we have a little time to play around and get this fragrance right. Hold on. And we'll just cap it off with this. Honeysuckle. 1.2. So let me give that a quick mix. And... Oh yeah, that smells so good. Okay. Didn't totally fail on us. Oh, okay. Let me tear this out really quick and then I'll add our uh, preservative, which is at 1%, which is at 0.3 ounces. Two, three. And this is, again, Optifan is the preservative that we'll, we're using today. Can you see that? I don't know if it's gonna focus. Come on, baby. Maybe not, but Optifan from Brambleberry. Put those to the side. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mix our water in once I heat the water for a minute. Because if we put cool water into these uh, waxes and butters, it'll totally solidify it and we're not ready for it to solidify and then we're almost done i know this seems very thrown together and i apologize for that but after we mix our water we're going to take our stick blender and let me go ahead and get that plugged in here and we're going to help the emulsification come along by just giving it a couple of quick bursts from our stick blender. Then we're gonna take its temperature with our thermometer or your heat gun if you have it. We wanna just ensure that the temperature of our lotion is below 140 degrees so we can add our, uh, excuse me, so we can add our fragrance and preservative in. If you add your fragrance and preservative in, over 140 degrees you shouldn't have added it let's just say <laughs> because you're gonna simply be burning off the preservative and the fragrance I'm not sure of the fragrances that you're using but you have to verify the flash point okay 
So that's been in the microwave for about a minute. Uh, I'm just gonna do, just because, another few seconds and uh, the oils are starting to cool down and so that's why I want it really kind of hot. Um, so I told you these are the bottles that we'll be using. So I have a funnel to help me to pour because I'm very clumsy. And I just got this funnel at the dollar store. It's been sanitized and spritzed with 91% rubbing alcohol. That's good enough. Yeah. And so as you see, let me make sure you're in focus. When I start pouring the water in, it's going to start turning white. Or it should. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at the magic happen. Look at it, look at it. We're getting lotion, guys. This is so awesome. This is really freaking awesome. And so, look at that. I love it when it comes together and it's getting frothy and just gonna help mix it in a little bit by hand and then we're just gonna stick blend just to ensure that the emulsification is happening because we definitely want the butters and oils and waxes to come together really well so take your stick blender and we excuse me for the noise a mess and it's starting to get thick you can look at it and tell it's starting to get thick so okay and what we're going to do is go ahead and add now what color should I use since I did my own little concoction of fragrances, uh, let's go ahead and take the temperature of this. And let's see, of course, it's getting thick. Oh, look at our lotion. I'm so pleased. And it is climbing. It's at a hundred. Come on. That's the thing about using these analog, <laughs> if you will, thermometers. You just kind of have to wait. And the lotion is definitely getting thick, so we want to hurry up. And it's definitely below 140. So we're going to shake that off. We're going to add our preservative and fragrance oil. I'm going to stir that in really quick. Look at this lotion, guys. I'm making a big mess, too. Let me get a napkin. Of course, it wouldn't be right if I didn't make a mess. Mm. Did you guys see my hair? I look a mess, but I had to smell it. It smells so good very light smells so good so let me grab a cup of napkins we're just gonna clean up this mess just like so now uh, for the color I think I should just do I'm just gonna do this green hold on drop 
we don't want it really dark because you don't want to dye your skin just want a tint so let's do maybe two three mix that in just a light tint so we don't want our skin dyed pink Odorojo. I think this is red. Yeah. Just a nice tint. That's it. And of course we're gonna continue making the mess. And that's that's it. And so we wanna hurry and get the lotion in the bottles before it gets too thick. So I have six jars here lined up and I would try to pour with a steady hand but no one, knowing me I won't get it are you guys in the shot okay so I'm just gonna take this and hold it on there like that and we're gonna just pour I know y'all can't probably see I'll fix it up uh-oh keep pouring oh big mess big mess and lots of products I'm wasting okay let's see how we're gonna do this ah. I am the messy soaper body product maker ever bam okay bam that was good. And we're just going to sit it to the side with the top off. We're not going to put the tops on until it's had time to completely cool down. Give this a stir around the edges. And there. Just get it thick. But um, for the ingredients that we put in here, if you were to buy these, um, a lotion of this magnitude at the store you would spend uh, a lot of money because I mean remember we we have avocado oil we have jojoba oil we have shea butter we have all types of goodies in here and so it's just best to make your own oh, this is horrible why can't I pour Oh, shoot, what am I doing? So, you know, I'll be wiping these off, so don't don't mind me. Just, I'm mad I'm, I'm wasting so much product. I normally don't do this. I don't know what the deal is with me today. Maybe because I'm filming, of course, it's because I'm filming. I'm gonna run through my paper towels and waste off my lotion. I won't have any product to sell. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's the gist of it. Let me go ahead and get this done before the lotion thickens up too much. I love you. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my fantabulous creations and just more of my foolishness, you know? So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.